All right, y'all. So if you ask me, a very reasonable conversation is actually about to take place right now on Randy's stream with um Pax. So yeah, we're going to be basically talking about this, and I think that it can actually lead to a great conversation. I guess some people have been sort of disagreeing with him or not seeing the vision or not believing it and or just discrediting it because they, they just see him as a moon boy at this point. Um, I mean, regardless, I think that some great points has been raised, and it is a discussion that that is worth having because it's not like everything positive or everything pointing in a positive direction has to just be negated because VB has been screwing up. Like <laughs> things that make sense still make sense regardless of if the decisions that VB is making doesn't make sense. Like <laughs> so, yeah, I mean certain things it it definitely adds up and I think this is one of those things that makes a, makes a lot of sense to me. So yeah, we're going to jump into that y'all. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications to stay updated with everything going on. Um, yeah, I've been enjoying getting back into the community, listening to a lot of the different perspectives and opinions on things, and just seeing the sentiment and where everyone is. Um, if you don't know where I stand personally right now, I am still invested. I, I'm not over leveraged. Or I'm, I'm invested just right to where I don't have to care. Like I don't, I don't care whether whether it goes up or down. I'm, you know, it's fine for me. Um, I do still believe in the project. I don't know if the team is going to, you know be able to deliver all the things that they hope to deliver or deliver it, it in a timely manner. But um, I do still believe the project has just as much potential as I always believed that it had. And nothing yet, as of yet, has arisen to make me believe anything different so far. Like, the only thing that I think can kill Vivi at this point in time is itself. Because um, I don't think Fortnite would be out to actually take Vivi's position. So, yeah, that being said, let's jump into it. Okay. So oh, do you think that so after Disney bought 10% of Epic Games, it was about 1.5 billion that they put in. People are now saying, okay, well, you know, a, a two years ago, people were saying like, oh, Disney's not going to be in the metaverse because Bob Iger fired um, Bob Chappick's metaverse team. Yeah, see, that was always like a trash narrative. I mean, they saying that Disney's not going to be in the metaverse when everything is like, that's literally the direction the world is going to. And you have to look at the IP, like their IP is everywhere. It's in stores. It's, it's, it's everywhere. They have all the games. They have all the movies. Their IP is literally everywhere. So you can assume that if it's everywhere in the current world, they, they would have it everywhere in the digital world as well. And it's already everywhere in the digital world it, online, like all the, like different websites, different games, different, different things. Like their IP is literally everywhere. So you should know that it's going to be one of the biggest, you know, biggest brands in the metaverse. Um, that's why they do such a strong job of protecting the IP and protecting its value because it's, it's that much value associated with it because it's a trusted brand and it has all the most entertaining things of, you know, of our generation, of a lot of generations. So, yeah, you got to keep that. You got to keep that in mind. It never made sense that. Disney wasn't going to be in the metaverse. They're, they're always forward thinking. They, they've been trying things to push things forward for years, but they've just been ahead of their time when it comes down to some things. And it wasn't it wasn't the right timing. But I think this jump into VV and, and Epic Games and stuff like that, I think this is the right time. And yeah, this, this is, it's the beginning of what's going to come overall. The only thing that concerns me is, is really VV's role at times. Are they going to be quick enough are they going to be able to deliver quick enough to be able to capitalize on this opportunity and position that they have with Disney and Marvel and potentially maybe Epic Games? Like, can they move quick enough and competently enough to actually be on the same level with the with this? Because it seems like these companies will have to do a lot of backpacking to work with VB. Yeah, congratulations on the sales, but realistically anyone who was here first in this position probably would have done the same thing during the last bull run so vv was just in the right place at the right time now i do think that to draw in collectors you have the right people as in david you but you have to be competent in so many other areas outside of just being great collectors and, and having great knowledge of this space so yeah um anyway and now it turns out they're actually building one with uh with epic so not only are they interested in the metaverse, they're actually building one. I believe that because Epic has a partnership with Cavernous and Cavernous is also building the VVverse, that they will be interoperable and there is a type of partnership there. Do you think that I'm being a little bit of a moon boy? 
or do you no, think? No, I, I don't think. I think you're. I don't think you're being a moon boy at all. I'm yeah, that that makes sense. Like, like this is what I'm saying. Like, the, this is a, a stance that actually makes sense because you're using the same tech as Epic Games already. Epic Games, you're using the same, you're using the exact same tech. So it's like if they're using what Epic Game uses as Epic Games updates things and and advances and enhances things and adds in Web three capabilities and, and really focuses heavily on Web three and and metaverse based things. Obviously, they're going to add that to to their their stuff that people can use to create and that's going to allow for greater development towards interoperability with the things that they have going on and i think vv is well positioned to be included in that i think that that just makes a lot of sense the the thing that i don't know is if if it's going to be good enough is it going to make sense like i mean they're, they're like I, I don't know i don't know i, I think that i don't think that it's an issue getting VV there, but it could just be a place there that's dead, like like a place that no one goes to. Like, what's going to catch people's attention and make people want to come to VV's area in all of this if it's interoperable? What's going to draw Epic Games fans into the VV side of things? Like, let's because if you you have to put it into context, Spider Man. Um, Superman, Batman, all this stuff that's very, very exciting for v the VV audience, that's not going to be exciting exciting for a gamer. They already have Spider-Man. They already have Batman. They have all of this stuff, and they don't care that you have the NFT, the first appearances. They don't even care about owning it. They just want to use it and play with it and apply this utility in Epic's games. And and, and that that's, that's all that they actually care about. So they don't care about these over these overpriced things that you can actually own. Um, it's just, it's just not something they care about. So how does that conversion transfer over to VV in a positive way? Um, when, when it's like, it's just going to get compared, like VV is going to be in a situation where now you're going to be compared to Epic and what Epic builds and whoever Epic games partners with whatever they build as well. That's what VV is going to be up against. Now you're up against Epic Games or whatever they build. Now it's a fight or battle for attention. So e even if you're partners, now you're still battling for attention. How how is how does VV get anybody's attention? At the point where like the first appearance collectors it makes sense. First appearance, this stuff is valuable because the first time I get how VV wins your attention, but how does it win the attention of the masses? That that's going to be something that, that that's something that needs to be talked about. Like, how does it do that? Because I can't see a way right now. I don't think that they're going to ever be able to build a better metaverse than Epic Games. I don't think they're ever going to be able to do. I mean, the only way is like utility with VV's NFTs that goes into Epic Games metaverse. But it's like, what incentive does Epic Games have to do ha have to use VV's NFTs? For what they're doing, unless Disney requires it, what what incentive would they have to do that when Epic Games can just create their own NFTs, their own NFT versions of these assets that'll probably look better than VVs, and they can give their own assets that utility, and they can use their own V bucks at, and turn it into a um crypto if they wanted to go that route, and they can do this all themselves. So so. Even if VV can get themselves into that partnership, how is it really beneficial? Because now VV is just there, but they're going up against a giant now, and they, I don't see any way that they can even get anyone's attention in there. Like, what are they going to do? What are they going to bring to the table? What what can V like that? That's that's what I'm wondering. In fact, I think that's why they dropped the portal. Oh, you think like they can go from VV verse to that via the portal? <laughs> that would be great the, the timing be... the timing of the portal that's all they could go and wow if they did that um and, uh, and on the trailer for the disney epic verse it said soonish so that that makes me kind of feel like oh okay that's a really weird weird word cavernous, if you if you look up cavernous if you look at the actual um if you um dig a little deeper i mean it's just because soonish is a mo is a is a you know popular thing in the vv community I mean, soon it's just very popular in general, but yeah, I don't know if soonish means anything. Um, I mean, it, it, it caught my attention too, but 
I don't know about that. Might be a bit of a stretch. And look at the names of the people. Yeah. Yeah, they have Epic. They have partnership with Epic. So it's, so that's, you know, play six degrees. They have Epic. And the actual... Uh, that's a really weird, weird word. Cavernous, if, you, if you look up Cavernous, if you look at the actual... Um, if you um, dig a little deeper and look at the names of the people. Yeah. Yeah, they have Epic. They have partnership with Epic. So it's, so that's, you know, play... Six degrees of Kevin Bacon, you find it in just two degrees with the cavernous and that. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah, and you know they're not they're not like this guy's not oh really? No, I never heard of Vivi. Oh well I oh no I <laughs> wait, they're they're in the same room together. You know what I'm saying? It's it's Easily. it's cl close uh close ear you know, mouth to ears, but But see that's the thing. Like I get y'all connections, I get the, the connections that you all are drawing here. But this is where I have to play devil's advocate because, yeah, they're in the same room. Epic Games knows about Vivi, sure. Like, there's a lot of connections connecting them back to Vivi. Fine, fair. But how does that actually help Vivi? And, and what value does Vivi bring putting them in the setting of this partnership with Epic Games? That's what I, like, I had an idea before, which, I mean, I still think that this holds true. Like, in terms of decorating epic in, in terms of de decorating the metaverse and stuff like that where maybe you have a little action figure you put it on the desk or you put posters on the walls and stuff like that within the in, within epic's metaverse that makes sense to me putting having posters on a wall having rugs having all type of ip stuff yeah that makes sense being able to decorate and and fill in the the epic verse with that that would be great if they're directing people to Vivi to buy Vivi's NFTs and posters and put a James Bond poster on the wall, like that would be dope. That And it would actually make sense. And it's something that I don't think Epic Games necessarily would even care to take the time to build all that type of stuff. But as far as Vivi's stuff playing a role, a bigger role, um, I mean, or, or is that a big enough role? Like, cause if, if we're 100% reliant on this bridge being there, and people on from the epic side wanting to walk across it to the VV side, what what's going to you know make them want to do that? What can VV even do that would make them want to come to the VV side? If this augmented reality experience and stuff is just that amazing, where um, then then maybe, but right now we just can take pictures like if it's going to be an augmented reality game and it's going to be really really sick if it's going to be a really insane game potentially if it's a really really good game but still if the cost of entry to these really really good games is going to be crazy like the price of the assets on vv like how what what is how does that work um who, who do you think from epic game side is going to be buying stuff on vv for these type of prices when they can get Batman and all these other stuff on Fortnite for ten dollars, and then use it and play it and do have all this stuff. There's even escape rooms. Every single idea that I've ever had about how to make VVverse valuable, it's already implemented in Epic Games um, Fortnite for free. So, what can VV actually do to make people want to come to the VV side of things and make them spend all this money to like as far as mass adoption? That's the problem that I'm having seeing the mass adoption when it comes down to this. I can see how you draw in collectors. I can see that very easily. Like if you just want like in showcases that shows off the IPs and stuff like that, I can see stuff like that sitting in the epic metaverse and leading back to VV perfectly fine. I can see that. If you want to buy a doormat, if you want to buy a poster for your wall, I can see this stuff leading back to VV. People coming to VV for that reason, just to purchase some of these NFTs, makes perfect sense to me. And, and and maybe they can even throw in the Omi token where you get deals. You get deals if you purchase using the Omi token. And hopefully by this point in time, it'll be easier to purchase the Omi token straight through the VV portal and the VV side of things. So they don't have to go through exchanges and go through all these loopholes and any of that. They can just go in, purchase, and, and, and buy something from VV and just go back to Epic. Something like that, where Vivi is just a store for the Epic community, I think that works. I think that that works very well, actually. Some, if Vivi can be a store for the Epic community 
and they can secure a deal to put their assets within there just as like statues and figures and things like that where there are no real significance outside of just aesthetics cool but i don't see vv being good for more than just aesthetics and even and, and that's even a lower tier aesthetic to be fair because epic games itself looks better than vv all of its assets looks better than all of vv's so it would literally just be statue feel like they would probably have to even put bases and stuff on all of vv stuff just to make it fit in you know like like kind of like the delorean the, the delorean we saw in that little uh in the vv verse and stuff like that like that that something like that putting bases on on things to where it's clear that it's a statue and that, so because i don't think epic games would want their their assets confused with vvs so yeah which it, it wouldn't be but they would just, people would just think that oh this is epic game epic game has released a, a bad asset <laughs> in comparison to vv like mo most of that vv stuff is very very um inferior to epic games basically but yeah that being said let me know how you all feel about this let me know what you all think um I think, like I said, I think this is a great conversation, a great, great topic to, to discuss. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, and opinions towards it. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And yeah, I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.